Welcome. Thanks for joining me. Today we're looking at calibrating the Z axis within Easel Pro. If you followed along with the progress of my CNC machine controlled by an Arduino, a shield and some stepper motors for each of the axes X, Y and Z. You'll have seen that I've been struggling with the Z axis especially. The bit has been plunging into the work surface far too deeply. So, time to address calibrating the Z-axis. The great thing about easel is you can calibrate your machine within the software. To do it, we really need to measure what's happening. So, set up some device, a DTI, a rule, anything convenient that will measure, preferably millimetres, accurately. I say millimetres because it's a a simpler approach. So with a suitable rule attached to the machine alongside the Z axis we would note a datum point and then we're going to jog the machine in the z-axis up or down a set number of millimetres and look at the rule and see whether it's actually moved that amount. If it has, great. If it hasn't, then you need to set the z-axis within the program. We do that by bringing up easel, attaching your machine via the USB to a laptop or computer. Click on machine at the top menu click on general settings and then machine inspector and if you scroll down you'll see X Y and Z mentioned it'll probably be dollar one hundred, dollar one o one, and dollar one o two, for the X, Y, and Z. And make a note of what the what's after the equal sign. On mine, it was two hundred and fifty. So that's the reading for the dollar we are going to alter. And we alter that by, at the top of the console, there's a, a, there's a box where you can enter commands. And the command you're going to enter for Z is $102 equals, and then you're going to put a number in 
and that number is going to adjust your Z axis. So depending on whether your Z axis is moving too far or too short, that number on the console is going to alter. To get mine to work, I changed it from dollar one or two equals two fifty to dollar one or two equals eighty. You can calculate this, but you can also make a shrewd guess. Then you would close the machine inspector down go back to the interface of easel and in the top right hand corner jog your machine and see whether your new settings but let's just hold tight a minute definitely make sure that it's set to millimetres for jogging Mine keeps defaulting to inches and I'll have to look into how to change that. So 10 millimetres or 10 inches, world of difference, a world of hurt. So just make sure your jog is set to millimetres. Select 10 millimetres and jog it up or down, whichever suits your measuring device and see whether your machine actually moves and after a couple of times you'll have arrived at the figure for dollar one or two which gives you an accurate 10 millimeter on the Z axis I personally would save the project at that point and then even close down easel, open it back up, open up the project and then check to see whether your calibration has been successful. Hope this helps somebody else, it certainly helped me no more carving right through the workpiece anymore. I'm itching to get started on V carving. Thanks for watching. Join me again soon.